In this video we're going to compare two types of mortgages, a 15 year and a 30 year. So suppose you borrow $150,000 at 6% APR to buy a home. There are two common choices for the term of a mortgage, 15 years or 30 years. Now the first thing we're going to do is calculate the monthly payment for each mortgage. Then we're going to look at these questions and, and look at the amount of interest uh, we pay for each one. So the first thing we'll look at is what percentage of your first month's payment will be interest if you opt for a 30 year mortgage Then we'll, and the 15 as well and then we'll also for both of them see how much interest you will have paid by the end of the 30 year mortgage how much interest you'll have paid by the end of the 15 year mortgage so how much interest paid altogether, so to speak. So the first thing I want you to do is um, press pause and and do this question figure out what will your monthly payment be if you opt for the 30 year mortgage so press pause and do that one and um, the first thing I guess we'll do is just make sure we all have the correct R1 plus R and T uh, so your rate R would be um, 0 0.06 over 12 or 0 0.05 right and 1 plus R would be 1.005 and T would be what? So it's 30 years and 12 months so isn't that 360 months altogether in 30 years right? Okay so in any case if you, once you make sure you have those now and then find the correct formula and write down the formula. Plug these numbers into the formula what do you get? Okay, so your formula should look like this. 150,000 times R times 1 plus R to the power of T over 1 plus R to the power of T, then subtract 1, right? So calculate the top and the bottom and see what you get. Press pause and do that if you can. So on the top you should get 4516.9314 and some more digits. And on the bottom you should get 5.0225752212 okay and what divide that now and round your answer to the nearest cent to get the monthly payment press pause if you need to and you should get $899.33 okay so um, that's the monthly payment for the 30 year mortgage it's about $900 each month now we'll do this one. What will your monthly payment be if you opt for a 15 year mortgage? So what I want you to do is calculate R, 1 plus R and T for this to begin with. R, 1 plus R and T. So R again is the same thing, it's just 6% APR which is uh, 0 0.005 or in fact 0.5% each month is collected right on the mortgage now um, 1 plus R is 1.005 and T in this case is 15 years times 12 months 180 so we're gonna make 180 monthly payments with a 15 year mortgage so uh, fill out the formula for monthly payments and see if you get the correct thing so write down the formula see what you get Okay, press pause if you need to. So your formula should be 150,000 times R times 1 plus R to the power of 180 over 1 plus R to the power of 180, then minus 1, right? Now calculate the top and bottom and what do you get? Press pause if you need to. So you should get 1840.570172 on the top and then on the bottom 1.454093 five six two okay and if you divide that and round to the nearest cent what do you get divide that round to the nearest cent and you should get one thousand two hundred sixty five dollars seventy nine okay so this is our monthly payment for the 15 year mortgage and this is the monthly payment for the 30 year mortgage and if we just want to one thing to do is compare like how much more do we pay each month for a 15 year mortgage because what you might think is sheesh a 15 year mortgage well that's twice as long well surely I pay twice as much because this one you know this is approximately nine hundred dollars and so you might think 
well surely with a 15 year mortgage because it's, it's half the time well I'll pay twice as much I'll pay 1800 right but that's not true you pay 1265 okay that's a lot less than 1800 right so if you get the difference of them if you take your 1265.79 and subtract 899.83 the difference is you pay an extra 366 dollars per month for the 15 year mortgage okay for 15 years so it's it's not double the 30 year mortgage at all it's 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 uh, it's it's a, it's a good deal compared to the 30 year basically so um let's go ahead and look at these questions and we'll start with the first one what percentage of your first month's payment will be interest if you opt for a 15 year mortgage any idea how to do that could you at least tell me one thing we should calculate to figure this out do you know like what percentage what percentage of your first month's payment will be interest well couldn't you calculate the interest in the first month maybe right so why don't we calculate the interest in the first month to begin with would you know how to do that so we've got a hundred and fifty thousand dollars loaned out at six percent APR but that's ha 0 0.5 percent per month it's 0 0.05 right so what the bank is done is it's giving you this big lump sum of money and it, it, you're an investment it wants to make money off of you so it's going to take out it's going to calculate um, 0 0.5 percent of hundred and fifty thousand right that's it's going to take that in the first month basically what does that make 0 0.005 times hundred and fifty thousand gives what so the interest in the first month is 700 and if you calculate this in your calculator 750 dollars right so my point is if we, wh how would we now get the percentage of your first month's payment what percentage of the first month's payment is interest what percentage is the interest of the first month's payment so you're calculating a, a percentage here kind of like percentage change or something but it's percentage right so don't you take the interest and divide it by the payment in the first month right what was the payment in the first month payment in the first month monthly payment is the same as the payment in any month I mean the monthly payment for this 30 year mortgage is 899.33 every single month that's what you pay all the way to the very end so the payment in the first month 899.33 okay so if we take the interest in the first month divide it by the payment in the first month we get the percentage um, the percentage of the first payment that was interest right so go ahead and do that and what do you get Seven fifty divided by eight nine nine point three three is zero point eight three three nine five four etc. And we're going to round this to a percentage with two decimal places in it. Okay, a percentage to two decimal places. Move the decimal point one two spaces to the right. Now it's a percentage. 83.395 etc percent okay and round this to two decimal places and we get and of course it's three nine and five is here so that rounds up so you add one to nine and now you've got ten and uh, basically one to thirty nine is forty so basically we have eighty three point four zero percent right or eighty three point four percent same thing Okay, rounded to two decimal places. So a little over 83% is the amount of 
I mean, in other words, and you can see with the numbers, I mean, of your first payment, most of it was interest, right? Now, press pause and do this one. What percentage of your first month's payment will be interest if you opt for a 15-year mortgage? So press pause and do that one. Same procedure as the previous question. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So we need to calculate the interest in the first month and divide that by the payment in the first month, right? What will the interest of the first month be with the 15-year mortgage? Hmm, let's see. So they loaned us 150000 and it's 6% APR. That corresponds to 0.5% interest each month. Okay, So what they want with this mortgage is the same as they wanted in the last one. At the end of the first month, they've given you $150,000. That's a lot of money. They want some return on that. They want half a percent of that or 0.5% of that. And we know what that makes. It makes $750. right? So that's your interest amount in the first month. What's your payment amount in the first month? We figured out that the monthly payment for the 15 year mortgage is 126579, right? Now, that's the payment in the first month, the second month, the third month, the fourth month, the fifth month. We pay that every single time, right? And because it's 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 a monthly uh, payment uh, scheme. So, if we divide that we get zero point five nine two five one etc and as a percentage turn it to a percentage first you've got to round this to a uh, write this as a percentage rounded to two decimal places so go ahead and do that a percentage, you got to move this one point two spaces to the right, making 59.251%. And round that to two decimal places, and what do we get? Well, it's 251, so we round down, so that's 59.25%. Okay? Now let's have a look at this. Sure, in with the 15-year mortgage, you still have to pay a, a huge ton of interest with the ver in the very first month, right? And um, and we also know the other thing to remember is that um, as you the, as you continue to pay off this loan, um, more of your the balance reduces, okay? And so the percentage interest each. Uh, the, uh, the amount of interest each uh, month isn't as much. So, as we've seen from the amortization tables, like here where we borrowed a thousand dollars, we borrowed a thousand dollars, and the amount applied to interest in the first month was ten dollars, then it was nine twenty one, then it was eight forty two, then it was seven sixty one. So the amount of interest that we pay reduces as we p make payments. Okay. And um, the thing is, the reason for that, of course, is because we don't owe as much money as time goes by. We start to, our balance that we owe goes down. And so, therefore, the bank can't collect, they can only collect, you know, here they can only collect 1% of 679, right? So, because, the, but at the beginning, they were collecting 1% of 1,000. So, at the beginning of a loan, they collect interest on a lot and then they just keep collecting the interest on the outstanding balance so as as uh, the as the loan after through as you go through the term of a loan um, the bank collects less interest each month because the the balance of the loan is less right but at the beginning of course 
on our one here it's 150,000 so they're getting half a percent of that $750 so it's a lot of interest at the beginning either way but at least with the 15 year mortgage this is about 60 percent you know 59 is about 60 percent interest in the first payment but the problem is with with uh, this 30 year mortgage you're looking at 83 percent interest right that's a lot more and in my mind I also think of this I think well with the 30 year mortgage I only paid 17 percent of my first payment only 17 percent reduced the 150,000 right <laughs> whereas with the 15 year mortgage at least 40 percent of my uh, payment actually started to reduce the uh, the balance of the loan so for the 15 year does look like a bear deal to me especially since look like we said there's only a about a, over a three hundred dollar difference in them anyway so um, and a very interesting uh, graph I'd love you to look at is in your textbook if you just go back a few pages from the homework and uh, you'll you'll see this graph it's a it's a um, percentage of payment that goes to interest on the first edition that's page 214 but if you have a different edition it might be a different page but but it's this graph here and it's percentage of payment that goes to interest with a 30-year mortgage now payment number is on the bottom on the on the horizontal axis and percentage that goes to interest is on the vertical axis at the very beginning around payment zero or payment one let's say your percentage that goes to interest is over 80 per 80 percent that's what we've calculated isn't it 83 percent see so can you see how that matches up over 83 percent and as you start to make payment the more you make payments the more your the balance reduces and so less percentage goes towards interest and and more of the percentage payment goes towards reducing the loan and as you come down here you know your loan is really starting to decrease and so the percentage that goes to interest really reduces until after 30 years 360 months 30 years uh, you don't pay anything anymore it's, it's it's done right but the interesting thing to me one of the interesting things to me is if you look halfway at 180 because half of 360 is 180 so this is 15 years into a 30-year mortgage you're still paying about 60% about 60% of your payments are still going to interest that's halfway through the term you know whereas with the 15 year you begin by paying 60% uh, so so to me the 15 years if, if you can do it it's, it's a better option obviously uh, even better would be 10 year or 5 year or if you could but anyway so let's have a look at these questions how much interest will you have paid by the end of the 30 year loan press pause and calculate that if you can okay I'm going to do it now and um, what I'd like you to do is first of all calculate the total amount paid altogether throughout the 30 years how much did you pay altogether how much money did you pay? Well, don't you take the monthly amount, the monthly payment, and times that by the number of monthly payments we have to make, right? So, what was the monthly payment? That's eight ninety nine thirty three, right? And how many of those do we have to make altogether? Well. 360 right so what does that make so you get your 899.33 times that by 360 and 3237588.8 go around that to the nearest dollar so 323759 about so that's the amount of money you pay all together but your principal what you started with was 150,000, right? So this is the amount to pay that you paid, but the principal, if you subtract the principal, won't that tell you how much interest you paid overall, right? So 
So how much interest do you pay after 30 years? So you take your total amount paid, subtract the principal, what you, the, the initial balance of the loan, and you find that you paid 173000 Seven hundred and fifty-nine dollars, round to the nearest dollar. Right. What's interesting? Can you see anything interesting about this number? You loaned out one hundred and fifty thousand. You paid back three thousand three hundred and twenty-three thousand. And so your interest you paid is one hundred and seventy, almost one hundred and seventy-four thousand. The interest you paid is more than the amount you loaned out to begin with. So you got to pay back all the principal plus this. So it's it's more than twice what you pay back is more than twice what you loaned, right? So press pause and do this one. How much interest will you have paid by the end of the 15-year loan or 15-year mortgage? Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now. So you take the total amount paid and subtract the principal and that should give you the interest paid, right? Now again, the total amount paid is the monthly payment uh, 126579, right? That was the monthly payment for the 15 year mortgage. Monthly payment for the 15 year mortgage. And um, that lasts for 180 months. 15 years times 12. So this amount is paid 180 times. And what does that amount to? 1265.79 times. 180 that amounts to 227842 and we subtract the principal 150,000 that's the amount we loaned out so after 15 years we have paid back 77,842 dollars in interest which is a lot of money it's a lot of money but one question is like how does the 15 year loan compare with the uh, 30 year loan overall do you think? Now, it's all a matter of opinion and, and each to his own but um, I mean you certainly pay a whopping amount of interest with the with the um, 30 year loan yeah, like that that's more than the interest is over what the principal is. Um, whereas with the 15 year loan, that's a lot of money, 77842 be great not to have to pay it at all and just pay off the house in cash, but at least it's not as bad as the 30 year, right? Plus, with the 30 year mortgage, I mean eight ninety nine thirty three per month, that's about $900 a month, right? And here we've got 1265 you know, you're talking uh, 1266 to the nearest dollar, right? So, I mean, to me, the 15 year mortgage is more money per month. It's it's over $300, but it's it's not really that much more money per month, I, I think, anyway. And you sure pay a lot less interest overall, right? 